Hey guys, welcome back. Today's wristwatch check is my Omega Speedmaster. It is Tuesday, so uh, it's a speedy Tuesday day. So, beautiful watch, highly recommend it. It should be on everybody's radar screen. Okay, enough of speedy Tuesday. All right guys, today we are going to talk about vintage watches and I have a great example here of a vintage watch of a company that doesn't even exist anymore. This is a Clinton, and I think it's a world timer. So let's take a look at it, get up close on it, and talk about the virtues of some cool timepieces without breaking the bank. So the history on the Clinton Watch Company is, um, information is hard to come by. Let's, let's just throw that out there right away. The only thing that I can really come up with is some information by Hodinkee. They happen to be selling a, another Clinton watch um, and they threw some information up. Uh, apparently, the company was started by a Russian immigrant by the name of Hyman Wein in 1922 in Chicago and uh, he basically just built his watches from the finest Swiss movements and I don't want to get busted for reading word for word <laughs> otherwise I will get the Scottish watches dudes on my ass for reading word for word so let's just say that uh, Hyman started the company and in 1960s and 70s it was moved on to his son Irving and you guys know what happened in 1970s the quartz crisis hit and uh, apparently the company was moved to Neuchâtel Switzerland and didn't last much longer after that because then it moved on to the US Virgin Islands Probably for some tax purposes, I'm guessing. Okay, so the uh, the diameter of this watch is 38 millimeters wide. It's 11 millimeters thick and lug to lug. Ugh, I can't remember. Let's do it right here on camera. And that's 44 lug to lug. So definitely a vintage watch. This is a manual wind. Uh, beautiful red arrow on the second hand. Uh, if you take a close look, these numbers and indices are applied and they're fully loomed. So this thing must have been really bright um, back when it was first made. I mean, it's just, the detail on the numbers and the applied indices uh, really nice and the um, in the date window there it's kind of neat how the uh, the date is in red font that's kind of neat kind of has the roulette wheel look to it and you can see on the bezel it's called a world timer because it has the different cities all over the world on the bezel. Greenwich on top, Paris, Tel Aviv, Moscow, and hey, look at that, we've got Denver down there. So it's gotta be an awesome watch. Let's take a look at the side of the case. It's got some nice polishing. So this watch is a survivor. Here's the crown, nothing special about the crown. No crown guards on it. And here's the back of the case. I'll put up a picture of it also. Uh, it says here that it was uh, six atmospheres tested and that it's a Swiss case. It's a stainless steel back and it's shock resistant and water resistant. The bezel itself is unidirectional. It doesn't click. It's just uh, held in place by friction. 
but it moves quite nice. So this is the watch guys, uh, Clinton Watch Company, World Timer. Uh, really neat, obviously the strap is an aftermarket. It is 20 millimeters wide uh, inside the lugs there. So you can easily find straps for it. Take a look at that bezel, how it kind of extends out. So the watch looks wider, appears wider than it really is because of that bezel. Let's talk about this watch and why I'd recommend it. This is a, a vintage uh, mechanical watch. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a nice timepiece, uh, Clinton is one of these obscure, rare watch companies that were around during the 60s and 70s that actually put out some really neat pieces. If you want to step up, if you want to move away from quartz and you want to step into the world of mechanical and hand winding watches, uh, this would be a great option. Uh, just type in Clinton watch on eBay or in Chrono 24 and see what pops up. I'm guessing you can probably find these around the $200 range. Not bad. Here's the watch on the wrist. It's a 38 millimeter wide case. I have a seven and a quarter inch wrist and uh, that's it. Guys, if you like the video, please give me a like, hit a bell icon around here and uh, leave me some comments down below. Do you have a Clinton? I think there's some other cool ones out there with blue bezels. Uh, let me know. All right guys, we will talk to you later. Bye.